Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MechCast Reacts Death Battle. Uh, oh. Today, Death Battle is pushing a scam website. I hope everybody understands this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better yes, help is so a scam. We're... If you have any issues with your mental health, go to your actual physician. Go get, like, an actual licensed therapist. Or, or do what I do and go to the gym and, and uh, <laughs> The gym out. will totally fix any mental problems you have. Yeah. If you have any mental problems, here's what you got to do. You got to beat the go, fuck out of it. You got to go and beat up your mental the, problems. Yeah, go if to the gym mental health, and the bench. We're totally I beat, up my mental problems. I beat up my mental problems every day. And I anyway, so, good. yeah, That's so sad. I'm Alex, Ben, and Gizmo are here. Mono yeah. is here, RGS, and our, uh, what? Jedi. Yes, I'm sorry, what I'm did here. you say? What did you, you say about Mono's name? He has what? You, you said Anyways, uh, we're watching, RGS and Mono. we're watching Killua versus Misaka, and I'm going to be mispronouncing that name as Mikasa, because oh. I, I know too much Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's appeared on this series for. She's in two forms now. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, okay, so so to give our quick thoughts for me, I only know of these two characters from clips and such. I know nothing about their series. I know very little of what they're capable of. Yeah, all I same. know is that Mas all I know is that Misaka might have a black hole feet maybe. I don't fucking know. But uh to quote the de to quote someone from the death battle chat Death Battle has got to have a straight white girl murder a gay kid in Pride Month. Okay, that, all right, I, all right, look. I, <laughs> I would like to put the rumors to bed. No, Killua is not gay. It's been confirmed by the creator himself. It's not, you it's say, not I know, I, I do agree, but the, some okay. of the research you, Death Battle chat do disagree with you. Also, Jedi. also Jedi. Killua is 12. Jedi, yeah, I know, that's what I said to the, to the researcher in the it's chat. Now Jedi, do you understand that the gay community is a, is appropriating? Let's anybody hope that they get they it across want. the audience. I like, do, I do. Yes, I guess say, Spider Man is trans now. Now, oh, Spider the people Woman say is that. trans now. Apparently, okay, we're getting we're getting off we're getting off track. Um, does anyone have any transsexual Does anyone have any quick thoughts? Yeah, yes, I don't like this. I, I have no investment in this matchup other than Killua. I have seen Hunter x Hunter. It's a great series. In my opinion, has one of the best modern-day English dubs I've ever fucking seen. It pretty much beats the shit out of anything that comes out of My Hero Academia. So? I mean, English wow. dub. Oh, Damn. I do. I do. It's a great It's a great dub. It's a fucking great dub. Oh, and also, Gon and Killua are fucking adorable, and I would take a bullet for both of them. Uh, yeah, made, from the clips I've seen, they are very cute. They they made me cry. Like they their their friendship makes me cry. No 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 balls. It makes me cry. Not ugly cry, but it makes no, me that's... cry. Hey, all right. Ball, no, ball, Does he, ball, um, ball, Alex, ball, what do, ball. Alex? What do you and what do you think of this matchup? Unless I you have already to said I have no idea oh, right. who these people are. Right, RGS. Um, a I kid might, is going to die. I might have seen. I might have seen porn of the a certain magical index girl online at some point. I'm not sure. I'm sure. Maybe. All right. I, I did a little bit of research. The kid is going to die. No research. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is that what they're calling it's it nowadays. Tiny bit. I, I, I will exactly say this. The favorite. I will say this. The fa from what I've seen from the community, the favorite the favorite to win is uh, Killua, but the expected winner is Misaka. I'm, I'm I'm mispronouncing that, but I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, yeah, Gizmo, no, no, no. Misaka. Yeah, no, you're right. It's Misaka. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Gizmo, any last words before we start it? Uh, I literally know nothing ab about either character. All I Thank know you. is that one's from Hunter x Hunter because I recognize that character like popping up once in a while. Uh, and whenever someone talks about that show, and I know nothing about Misaka except that she is from a. Sh from a show, I don't know what it's called. I don't remember what it's magical called. And, magical Index. Or, magical no, Index. Index, Railgun. She's, she's from a show that has too many fucking yeah. spinoffs. Yeah, okay, so it's nice right. why I don't remember the name. So, I know of her, 
I just don't know anything about her. I've seen right. her everywhere. I've seen her in clips from whatever I've never anime seen show she's called. Uh, she's from, but the, beyond that, I don't know nothing. But I'm really curious about the show about this nothing. episode yeah. anyway. I was not here. I will I did say not this. Even get I'm, up this morning. I will say this. I'm interested in this episode because I do want to learn more about both these characters. Yeah, using Death Bells a little to learn about some big hard hard. Very I'm funny. Not I'm not to be honest. I would recommend watching Hunter Hunter. It's got like six seasons and it's been comically unknown at this point. Uh, it's not finished. The manga never finished because the yeah, creator took a mental health break. Will, right. yeah. It's called Hiatus yeah. X Hiatus for a very good reason. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we need to start this. So before I do, there is one thing I wanted to quote from the Death Bow chat. No, I think really we can funny. just end it right now. Oh, you know bye, what? everybody. Yeah, we'll... It's been a great video. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, and, uh, if people are saying that a that uh, the girl that a girl is a, a straight girl is gonna kill off a, a gay kid, in I will. I, I, I do. Hang on, hang on. We're, we're, the we're stretching be. this out. We're stretching this out. I wanted to post. Yeah. I'm just gonna post the quote in the chat. The quotes. <laughs> this was in reply to the Death Bell's guy of a straight girl murder a gay kid in Pride Month. Someone replies with. Breaks pride, Craig. Like, Sorry, was that important? That important? <laughs> okay, Ben, you left out the emoji. It's it's Eobard Thawne. Yes. Yeah, that was so God, good. It's a reverse flash. Yes. You can edit that breaks into the pride, video. Pride, All right, we're, let's start Sorry, it. Sorry, was that Sorry. important? <laughs> All right, we're it was me, it. Barry. I was the I... one who burned the rainbow flag during Pride Month. I I'm the one who had the title screen the on the pride flag. The title to the monkey. <laughs> Anyways, right, we, um, we we're ready to go. Right. Let's let's get right. this show on the road. This episode is sponsored. This it episode is. is sponsored by a scam. <laughs> you said that already. Gilloa Zold, I'm Hunter going Hunter's to reiterate it. Just lightning assassin. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Koto, Academy City Space has Electric has Princess. Already DJ is popping what is off with his editing. Than the all-powerful yeah, crackling absolutely. might of lightning. Lightning in the hands of cocky hyperdelicious. <laughs> You know uh, it always brings me down. And it's our job and to it's free and you'll see that it's me. Oh, hey, that's fine. Who would win? Who's lost uh, and never found. Okay, zero out of ten. Wiz and Boomstick, we're covering up the animation preview. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Zoldix. A vicious family of assassins uh, known the world over. So infamous for their killing techniques, a single photo of any member sells for millions. You don't Max. want to be the target of their next family outing. But like all families, there's bound to be a rebel. As was the case with the middle child, Killua. They seriously named him Kill? Hardcore. Well, it <laughs> might be a pun on the term Kilowatt, but Kill is apt. Given he's been trained in huh. past tense. Better get people. ready to kill. He's gone. <laughs> Better get ready to run, cause there uh, we go. Um, I'll say, at age 14, he was strong enough to open a 64-ton door. Jeez, what kind of workout did his family put him through? Somehow, it gave him six skaters. 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, and 1,000 gallons of juice every day. And by juice, I mean steroids. Of his footsteps, Killua can create an auditory illusion. Again, he's a growing boy. Even extra sense. Yes. Yep. Killua was a heck of a prodigy, but despite being able to effortlessly rip. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Yeah. He wasn't cold. You have no idea how dangerous Killua can be. Not to the circus, but to the hunter association, an association of people who hunt stuff. Hunt. There he tested himself in the hunter's exam and inevitably had gone yeah. on head over heels uh, for Music, C, Poison, and Cute Hunters. Oh, God. And then there are the Cool Hunters. Sunny in Philadelphia and Big Bang Theory. Hi, Sheldon. Killua's family didn't like him uh, making friends, so they sat him down and then calmly and politely tortured him mercilessly as punishment. It was only thanks to Gone that Killua finally convinced his old man to let him go out on adventures with his buddies. But this change of heart was no act of compassion. Killua's father saw his freedom as just another step in molding him into a better killer. And in some ways, he was right. Through his adventures, Killua learned Nen, an invisible life force that- Yeah, yeah, it's key. It's always key. <laughs> Actually, this one's a bit more complicated. You see, Nen is utilized through four main principles. 
Ten for containing your aura while defending from physical and mental attacks. Zetsu for relieving fatigue and masking your presence. Ren for bolstering strength and influencing emotions. Yeah, it's pretty standard. So wait, 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 wait. Present. Ren. The screw attack logo. It's sound on TV. Look at that. Huh. That's that's. Oh, that's, a, that's cute. That's sweet. Hang on. Is that Aww. actually on? Is that playing yeah. on a TV in there, or is that? Yeah. It's on. It's on TV, and it on the TV is all a uh, uh, screw attack logo. Huh. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. They found a loophole to get around the anime copyrights and whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah that's a. Yeah. I like. You know, if, oh yeah, you're right because there's the. Um, yeah, you the know, scan lines. So the distortion. Yeah. yeah. And that's Hatsu, smart. The unique way in which one's nen is expressed. This comes in many forms, but all fall into one of six types, which represent how proficient a Nen user is at certain techniques. So, oh, yep. it's an RPG class system? More like a hybrid <laughs> class system, because most users actually fall somewhere between two categories, giving them differing degrees of proficiency. Techniques from these Nen categories can even be further enhanced by adding rules to their use. Oh, then there are the advanced principles, which... Oh, God, okay, I get it. But we haven't even talked about Killua's Hatsu yet. Killua is a transmuter enhancer, i.e. he specializes yep. in transmuting his aura into different forms and enhancing <laughs> the power of himself and others. He uses his aura to- He makes lightning! <laughs> yes. In Killua's hand, lightning becomes a- Wow, look how empty this is. They even have to yeah. fill it with that. A deadly weapon. Oh my god. This kid is Channel fucking dead. Or send through metal yeah, yeah, this kid is dead. That poor kid. Who asked for this? There were some people who asked for it, but the most common one was Akame versus Killua. Apparently, huh. this, apparently, one of the reasons was that this was the closest matchup. Yeah, that's right. Kill actually stands a decent chance of uh, in this than he would against the Kame. Yeah, it's literally the Kame would have like, murdered her, him. But it's literally like, Raven. For, it's literally Raven all over again. <laughs> of course, the shattered trees. Like I just damn his confidence. Add in Killua's lightning, and he can electrify anyone who touches him. Get <laughs> the time, yo! He's electrify anyone who touches him. <laughs> uh, Killua. Tom and Jerry and Death Battle win. Meaning, Killua is certainly as fast as actual lightning, especially when he uses it on himself to bust out God Speed. A form that greatly amplifies his agility. God oh, hey, that's my favorite from DC Comics. <laughs> I think that, to be fair, I think that did exist before Godspeed actually was a thing in the comics. I'm pretty sure. Only off by like a year. Ben is right. Over a million volts of electricity. Oh my god. Exceptionally crafty. In a Nen fight, every move matters. Strategy almost oh yeah, that's another strategy. thing. The Even fights in Hunter x Hunter are really fucking great. Like, no, no joke. I need to watch they, it at some point. They put Dragon Ball Super's fucking fight scenes to shame. Damn, I do need oh, to watch yeah, that movie because I've only heard Dragon great Super, about the show. Yeah, and Dragon Ball Super already had some hit or miss fight scenes anyway. So yeah, Frank Killer will use these powers to battle world-renowned thieves. Bomber mercenaries and ants. That may not sound like much, but these chimera ants were brutal. Murdering and eating people by the hundreds of thousands, then threatening billions. It reminds me of an old experiment. Gone horribly wrong. Oh no! Oh, Jesus. But Gon pulled him back in, much to his frustration. Killua wanted to be there for Gon emotionally, but could not comprehend why he was risking keep so Keep trying much to get out, but they keep pulling ants, me back in. Going as far as becoming a monster. In other words, Killua was crushing really hard, but didn't know what to do about Gon's simple-minded impulsiveness. It didn't end well for anyone. It wasn't all doom and gloom, though. Killua held his own against some of the Chimera Ants best, surviving this forest-consuming blast from one of their captains. Which, judging by its size, was worth several Killua tons. And Damn. And never injured a top-ranking royal guard, Yuppie. Sure, he ran for the hills the moment Godspeed wore off, and isn't as strong as the weird horse man. But even just damaging someone who can make a crater like this is nothing to sniff at. But amidst oh, for all sure. the fighting, Killua still could not get his family out of his mind. Literally. As in, his brother, Ilumi, put a needle in his head, forcing him to be controlled by self-preservation, ensuring he'd always run when victory isn't guaranteed. 
Wiz, do you think you can call CBS for that? Thankfully, after some much <laughs> self-surgery and self-reflection, Killua removed it, overcome oh. the mental barrier and ready to risk his life for those he cherishes. Which he did when he finally got himself and his dear sister Alika away from their demented family. He even brought Gon back from the brink of his creepy den coma. But despite how valuable Gon was as a friend, Killua realized his unhealthy dependence on him. So he decided to travel with and protect Aluka, finally realizing what he wants to do for the rest of his life. Oh god, the tearful romantic parting! Still, if Gon or Aluka ever need help, Killua is sure to come running. Ready to Killua anyone dumb enough to mess with him or those he cares about. That was a great analysis, I want to say. That was great. I'm surprised they didn't make a joke about the manga being on hiatus. Yeah, I, mean, I feel yeah. like it's there. I feel like that would have been a good That would have been a good story. Killua's story, Kill story isn't technically over. It's still going. And it's just you on know what will probably happen? Hiatus. In the Hunter Hunter guy is probably going to like release a hundred chapters after this. Is like, sorry, I've been late, guys. Guys, I've been working on all the all the content. You know, that, the, it'll be finished funny, in a know, couple of weeks. You know, I, Alex, you say that, but that'll probably happen because the Death Battle curse is a thing, and that always happens. I mean, I mean whenever I mean, remember Genos versus War Machine? As soon as they ca they said War Machine was stronger than Genos, the very next month, Genos immediately eclipsed War Machine, and now he's pretty much above War Machine's level. <laughs> Oh, of course he no joke. Is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Poor Death Battle, man. They can't catch a fucking break here. Holy no, shit. No, they can't. They're wrong, and I'm going to laugh at them a little bit. <laughs> All right, uh, starting. This episode is sponsored by... Oh, fuck you! <laughs> the Akame fan base is going to need their help. <laughs> Academy City. A sprawling metropolis filled with schools where Esper's train. I did not watch a certain index. Most of the or I've never, gun. I've never seen it. I've heard it. I've never I, I only I remember, it, like, it on the I remember hearing about the name a certain scientific railgun, and I was like, wait, what the fuck is this? I've never heard of this series. I've seen only... clips, but uh, that's it. I haven't seen anything else. And I, when, I I it, when I looked page. into it, when I looked into it, it was like. Like, okay, hey, the, you get you get certain expectations from the name a certain scientific railgun, right? <laughs> and then you, you come to find out that it's basically a nonsense title. I, I basically okay. I did find out from friends that the anime is complicated. Oh, of course. All right, let's begin. <laughs> For their supernatural abilities. Most of these youngins dream of rivaling the best espers, but only a few are hardworking and smart enough to do it. Among them being Tokiwadai Middle School's Level 5 Electro Master, Misaka Mikoto. Level 5? So she's a Pokemon, but an anime girl. <laughs> Each esper's power and utility is... Sure, right. let's go Level with that. Hey, yeah, that, that's, uh... I believe they made a game about that. It was called Moemon. <laughs> she doesn't like vending machines. <laughs> Well, neither do we. Yeah, you know how true. much you're so nowadays to get something from a vending machine? Since her surroundings oh, I thought you said vending machines, and I was like, I was going to be like, bite my shiny metal ass. Metal ass. <laughs> your ass isn't that shiny. Shinier than yours, meathead. Just what an anime girl needs, a chainsaw. Man, ah. if she gets serious, ah. Misaka can even make a friggin' six million ton kaiju out of it. Oh, God. So, <laughs> that was, that was dead. And to many crimes, earning fear among criminals, admiration among her peers, and lots of personal pride in her abilities. There was nothing she couldn't overcome. Nothing except the pain of all Sundares, a frizzy, <laughs> dumbass anime protagonist. <laughs> and Joe Toma. A level zero nobody who Misika could not harm, no matter how many times she tried. Oh, I hate you, but I secretly love you, and it'll work out in the end. Shut up! But she's a <laughs> more... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shut yeah. up! As amazing as Academy City is, it's more corrupt than New York real estate. Years ago, Misika gave some shady scientists the sample Fucking of her up. DNA, being promised it'd help cure tons of fatal diseases. Instead, they made tens oh, of thousands the of clones of her. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The Clone Saga. 
five, an eight-year edge lord uh, named Accelerator. I was going to say, like, this foe, guy looks familiar. I've seen him in every anime ever. Level six? Is that seriously all it takes? How does this Esper stuff work? <laughs> Espers represent the scientific side of the world. A side I'm also... Oh, I like boots! <laughs> possess an involuntary movement, or aim, diffusion field that manifests their power, letting them consciously alter reality. Changing reality with your mind. Isn't that just magic? Au contraire, Boomstick, it's quite scientific. Look at Misika's signature move, the Railgun. Many real-life Railguns use a set of parallel conductors to generate Lorentz force. By envisioning imaginary... I've seen that video. Misika can create a similar yet really? greater effect. Yeah, that video they're using in the background. I've seen that. I don't oh, okay. remember who did that. Concussive bullet. It's beautiful. It's I want to say smarter every day, but I'm thinking How that's not real. Be nerding out over this? It's <laughs> like my one thing. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Thousands of dead clones. Traumatized by the endless slaughter, Misika felt enormous guilt. You see it all the time with horrific experiments. Sure, buddy. She worked for days to end the clone project, but concluded it would have to end with her sacrifice. But Toma, but it Begun the Clone the Wars hand. She needed in her darkest hour. Well, Begun the Clone Wars hand. Magneto with his Esper proof fist. Misika had shouldered her burden for so long that she forgot how to rely on others. This wake-up call from her newfound crush was exactly what she needed. But even with Accelerator decelerated, Misika kept fighting Academy City's underbelly, all to protect her friends and free her sister clones she befriended. She dealt with a lot of trouble on the way, but had the God power damn, to what do the it. Fuck? In her battle with a killer cyborg lady, Misika conjured a city-spanning storm, which by It wouldn't be in the anime without the fighting a killer cyborg. Yeah. Energy to make. I mean, I was gonna say yeah. Angel so Form, and I said Pulp for Think about Dragon Ball. She got into a middle school <laughs> beef with a snobby telephone. There have been several killer cyborgs in Dragon Ball. There have been. Karen. And it seems God. to be the one thing Akira Toriyama loves to go back to when he's out of ideas. Yeah, what was that? What was that? Particle beams from an unhinged Karen. The electrons of a Karen? <laughs> Karen? <laughs> Weirdo and dodged particle beams from an unhinged Karen. The electrons of which can accelerate. Karens are unhinged. I can't Speed this. of light! Go as fuck! Yeah, this is. <laughs> Among their this more is important. The anime, yeah. This is the anime version yeah. of Korra vs. Storm all over again. <laughs> yep. Five different occasions. More than just her powers, though, Misika's greatest asset is her intellect. But remember, guys, this is the battle that Killua actually stands a decent chance against. <laughs> stands a decent chance, or this was just the weakest fucked. boss character we could throw against them? That's fucked. Okay. Constantly perform tons of nerd math just to make their powers work. And understanding other powers has been just as vital to Misika's survival. Take her bout with the magic Valkyrie, Brunhild. Remember when Wiz said Esper were the Brunhilde. science side of the world? Well, these weirdos are packing the magic. A well, the way it's spelled, it's, it's said Brunhild. It could have meant death. Isn't that an E at the end? Brunhild. Now, Brunhild Usually there's an E at the end. Oh, yeah, there is an E at the end. That's weird. weird. Harm a saint, who are normally only deployed against foes capable of leveling mountains. One Damn. Such foe, hell, froze 100 kilometers of ocean. You'd think this means Misika can take on all sorts of magical baddies. But alas, that's the power that's that's he's that's already dead. Serious, when you're dealing with crazy magicians and magic gods, even a level 5 Esper struggles to keep up. Misika valued her abilities so highly that she struggled to maintain her self esteem when they weren't enough. A shame Misika cares so much about getting stronger when Toma appreciates her as a person first and foremost. While certainly a flaw, that ever persistent hard headedness will also keep Misika around, no matter the stakes. So watch out, because this pint-sized 14-year-old ah! is quite literally a walking railgun. Killer was gonna die. By Dude, I, 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 oh, yeah. I do want to say, I do want to say before it starts. The only advantage Kula might have is that he's more skilled and a lot more smarter when it comes to strategy. But outside of that, he's gonna need a lot of heavy needs if he wants to win this. Because I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, both of these two have. But no, see, this is probably both of these two have identical strategy games. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Kula's fucked them. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, quite literally, because it said that Misa kind of has a high intellect. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Oh my God, what was that? What is this? What is that clip? What is that? <laughs> also, what is, go what is, what what is going on in both of these? <laughs> Wait, where is this footage? Oh, that one? That's actually a wrestling okay. move. Okay, yeah, no, no, I know no, it's no. a wrestling oh, move. It's just... It still <laughs> looks so strange. <laughs> okay, that first image that, that yes, Ben was asking... Okay, Ben, Ben, I forgot yes, to yes. tell you guys. There have been... that there. Uh, so there was actually an original Hunter Hunter anime that started in 1999, but it got abandoned and it never finished. Then it got oh. rebooted in 2011 and it got as far as six seasons. And then uh, it went off again because they ran out of stuff to adapt because, you know, the manga. Yeah. So Hunter Hunter the... has been adapted twice. Cool. All right. I can't wait for it to be adapted. I like how they're going to end like, it uh, on. <laughs> like, oh, no. Killua's was... face is adorable whenever he's doing the anime uh, face. I love it. Kitty face. Let's, okay. let's watch I do like I've I do seen like the preview for this. Yeah, I have to. No one else has them. Oh my god, those sprites! They're really wow, good. That's mine. I've been looking for it all day. Give it here. You want it? <laughs> Come and get it. Oh, that voice is good though. Yeah, no, the voice acting is lit for these. Oh! Coins, also, this background is so much better than Ant Man versus Adam. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot more variety here. Let me see if they fixed it. It's a trick of sound, not sight. Yeah, they did add the echo. In the preview, they they didn't have the echo. When... Ooh. I, I do like that from the preview. They have definitely upped up quite a bit, which is good. Who's good at hand to hand? Yeah. Better keep my distance. She has stronger lightning. Gotta get in close. No yeah, see? I told you! They're- 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 they're, stra yeah, they're more strategy-based! Yeah, I like this so far. I- I- I Holy do shit, like this. is she going to static? Yeah. Yeah, she's Super doing a static. Eight. Ooh! Hero static shot. Here we go! Oh, that's so cool! Uh, hey, Kilora, uh, Ness wants us to go back. She did a yo yo jump! I gotta say, this is pretty good so far. I like this. Ooh! It's got some energy to it. Yeah. You don't know when to quit. Oh no, he's already in his god mode already. Well, he's dead. Ooh. Oh. Usually that's a red flag Whoa. when it comes to these yeah. opponents. Oh, you she's know, super saiyan now. Super foam early. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh! Damn! Oh. Okay, kill him with your Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, you're dead. Damn. What is oh, this? No. What? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Are you me? What? What? Oh, shit! Holy oh, oh, fuck! Oh, this is going hard! <laughs> Whoa! Yo, what, what is this? Fuck? What is this? <laughs> Oh! What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on. What? Oh, holy. What? What the fuck? Oh, my God! What the oh, hell man. was that? Holy shit! Holy fuck! <laughs> Are you bathing in his blood, bro? Yeah. Holy, holy shit! shit. Oh, holy was shit! That? Whoa! Shit. That oh was my a god. To quote that... Robot Man from Doom Patrol. Wow! Holy shit. Time for a full oh, shit. Holy, shit. Holy, holy shit. That might be shit. Oh, I have man. to say, oh my god, I have to say, I have to say this. Went... Oh, this is... That's slow. That's slow. This, is... this is the best fake out they've done since Vegeta versus 4. And this knocks it out of the yeah, fucking yeah. park. Yeah, that, was a, hey, that was a double fake Mara out too. Versus, wow, that was this yeah, is, that was that was, was so much better. Than Holy Mara God, Eisen. Modern versus Eisen has been topped. Holy oh. shit! Modern versus Eisen was bullshit, but yeah, this is fucking amazing. Oh my wow. God! Why was this better than Ant Man versus Adam? Holy! Uh, shit. Uh, well, actually, no, no, well, no.
Não, 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 não. não. Hey, 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 hey. É isso aí. Okay, okay, uh, pretty fucking good in terms of death battle this year. Yeah, that's that's like, God, right. yeah. Well, that's well, okay, let's watch. Let's finish the episode. Yeah. Let's finish the episode. Yeah. The angle, the electromagnetism. The sun. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry, I'm going on. Hey, take a breather. No, please tell him go on. While Killua's assassin training made him a vicious threat, Misaka's abilities and know-how gave her the counter she needed in this mind-numbing battle of wits. Killua could no survive shit. a ton level blast, and given some leeway, could scale to Yuffie, whose crater feat was worth 18 megatons of TNT. Impressive, but the storm Misaka created beat anything Killua has done directly. And given yeah. the scaling to Brunhild, who Misaka not only harmed but stalemated, her output could reach hundreds of megatons of TNT. Oh my no god! Which numbers are Dear used, fucking Misika god! Always have the advantage in it's not even a fucking contest! It's <laughs> not even close! Jesus Christ! And, and it gets worse! <laughs> and it gets worse if you, It gets worse if you, if you... It gets worse if Killua fights Akame! Akame goes... Akame's feats blow this even harder out of the water, so... Death Battle sending a child to the fucking slaughter. You love to see it, especially during Pride Month. Yeah. Bring your... Uh, bring your not-daughter to the slaughter. Oh. <laughs> At least Killua stood a better chance here than he ever could have in any other matchup. Yeah. True. We have shrugged up a million volts of electricity, but Misaka can dish out and survive billions. Still, both characters have contended with and harmed stronger opponents, and the two power systems they work under have allowed weaker opponents to defeat stronger ones in the past. So, might alone wouldn't net either a win. Plus, Killua was way better at hand to hand and physically stronger. Is that fun? Assassin skills. Things could have gone south for Misaka if she wasn't careful. But fortunately for the railgun, she was. Her fight with Brunhild shows she knows how to deal with tough, up-close threats while keeping her distance. And being able to dodge particle beams meant Misaka was oh, hey, fast enough to react to even <laughs> in quick speed. Add to that her bigger pool of powers, and she had plenty of ways to counter Rhythm Echo, since Killa was lightning, or just pin him in place long enough to pull up... Oh, oh that too! Hold on, Killa was physically stronger, but her close range, but too slow to close the gap, can't survive her full power, three, four hours. Okay, that's fair. Misaka. I like, I like how they had color. Yeah, they DJ, color. Mega, thank yeah. you. Because this was one of my criticisms when D, with DJ's first analysis in Ant-Man vs. Adam, but it feels like he did listen. So, DJ, yeah. Yeah, thank you, my guy. Like, yeah, yeah, amazing work on this episode. Uh, oh, yeah, like, yeah. Better at close range, but too slow to close the gap. That's just mean. That's yeah. mean. <laughs> oh, Killua was strong, but he wasn't gonna outmuscle six million tons of iron sand. Killua was uh, a no. prodigy in all things then, lightning. Oh, Killua, my boy. I'm so sorry. And scientific brilliance let her <laughs> boomstick thinking. But hey, at least she let Killua keep the change. Oh, in the corner. Sit in the corner. <laughs> We gotta see who's next. Is dead boomstick. All right, guys. Thanks next time, let's see what's Stay next time. New death battle releasing hold on, hold on. Pause it. Pause it. Oh, thank God, the credits are going by at a normal pace again. I hated how they were going by in a quick pace in the last one. Why? Who asked? Okay. The pause? Why? I didn't. I didn't. Who's gonna be? No, I did. Well, I was I wondering. Was ask, oh. your bets. Who'd you? No, do? RGS did. Let RGS and, uh, talk. What was the RGS? Right, place your bets. Who do you think is going to be next time? Why are we betting? Let's just watch it. Uh, Discord yeah, versus I have Bill no Cypher. idea. You know what? It's, it's going to be Doom be Guy versus Master Chief 2.0. I'm betting. I'm, you know what? You know what? I'm going to make, make, make a quick like, bet. I know what? I'm going to make a quick bet. This is not going to happen. Hero versus Hellboy. Finale. Let's see if this happens. An extra content. Planet level members even see death. It's going to be something. Jackie Sam versus Mike Tyson. Come on, shut up. Stop. What? You, what? Oh, that's huh. interesting. What? what? Disney versus Disney! What? Well, that's out of left field. This actually <laughs> makes some sense when I'm thinking about it. Okay, I like that. It's like a week before RDX. Way oh. far out. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Okay, so let me I'm get not to mad. <laughs>
Let me get to a good pause. Expect that. Disney versus Disney. Nobody tell Disney. All right, this is a good pausing point. No, I'm gonna add Disney. Alex, yeah, uh, it how do you know Disney Bob oh, Alex, hang on, hang on. We need to hang on, hang on, hang on. Alex, how do you feel about this episode? Oh, son Man. of a bitch. Uh, are, are we talking the upcoming episode or this one? This one, this one. This is pretty talk fucking about good. I have no idea who either of these characters are, but I, I kind of, I kind of thought it was uh pretty fucking good. That, yeah. yeah, I, I'm genuinely. <laughs> impressed with that like, fight I, again i was a fucking in... death battle oh, oh yeah no sure. i was just gonna say it's time for, only... I, at first i was gonna say it's time for a word it's a worthy death but then when i let the explanation play out at the, and when i looked back on it i think oh, yeah no this is probably another it's time for a death battle just Maybe. because it's like yeah, I will say, like, the only thing I could truly complain about is that no it's way. pretty obvious on who's going to win. But at the same time, the analysis is done far better than Storm versus Korra, so I didn't really mind it as much. And I could have at least some l vague believability Killa could win potentially with strategy, because they made oh, that no, pretty yeah. clear in his analysis. But, like, this was just far better. This far no, better than... I, I yeah. think in terms, like, as, as a Hunter Hunter fan, I'm very satisfied. But this <laughs> did basis. want me. This did get. This did make me want to check out a, ma a certain magical index, and I think I will just because yeah. Mika's character falls into the type of anime girl character tropes that I like. Yeah, I, I'm now. I'm now want to watch both, and I guess this episode succeeded. It made me want to check out both, and was just really entertaining the, as well. The, was also godlike again i i know i know it's only been three episodes but nick um um but dj and i can't remember the other guy's name i forgot his other uh, the, the one who edited uh the one who edited dark souls versus skyrim they're both doing a great job like yeah. we're in good hands so we yeah. Are, yeah yeah you know like three in a I row really it, was, it was like cool first thing. it was ant-man versus adam that was war that was uh it's time for death now then it was skyrim versus dark souls it's time for death belt now i think this may be the best one, like they, they fake, went for like three strikes this is this has the best fake out death like ben said yeah. it. this is probably the best fake out death, death to date yeah death bell has some amazing fake outs this fucking blows them all out of the park yeah, i genuinely no. i you genuinely home run so far going to win with that one i i'm not gonna lie it caught me completely off guard and oh my god, that was genuine. We all got fucking hyped there. We were all yeah, screaming. That was good. That was very that was fucking good. God, yeah. This season, I will have to say, it's been really fucking good so far. If it keeps up with this level of quality, we might have the best season of death battle fucking ever. Uh, this could beat. This could beat season eight, in my opinion. Yeah. Season eight had its downs too, so it. it I would say it that season the best so far. Yeah. For yeah, exactly. yeah right. we'll say like starting from season eight, it's been getting better and better in terms of quality and research and whatnot. Oh yeah, not to not to not to insult the previous seasons before, and I meant like in terms of quality, it's very noticeably been going up since then. Since you yeah. know season seven wasn't particularly. I mean, that's not their fault, but you know. Uh, anyways, RGS, how would you feel about this episode? It's a uh, it's expected, but a welcome surprise if you know what I mean. It's yeah. I think the really the main reason why you should watch it is ultimately the animation. They manipulate oh, yeah. sprites really well. Where you might think it could just be like a sprite sheet, they probably did use some puppeteering, you know? Yeah. So they really use a lot of their tools really good. So the backgrounds look nice. A lot of the show oh my God. Really interesting. Well, the soccer was obviously taken from a fighting game, considering how yeah, well no, I yeah. can't remember the fighting game she's taken He's from, but Killer was, yeah. kill was I, sprites are 100% right. custom. Killua sprites are custom, and oh, if yeah. I had to take a guess who made those custom sprites, it's probably Origin. Probably. Yeah, oh, I will say this. Um, apparently, Origin is doing most of the sprite reading work. I cannot confirm that, though. I can't even tell that when the, when the, when they're using the rig skeletons. I mean, maybe a little bit here, I could see it, but it's, again... Yeah. When we started them, when we started using them in season seven, they were very, very janky and noticeable. But as the yeah. seasons progressed, they really became seamless. 
Yeah, they, like, they've been they've been getting better and better with the sprite rigging stuff. Like they move, there are, they, yeah, they, they move like actual people. Yeah, like there are some moments in season eight where it's flawless, and then not so much. But as season nine progressed, it got better and better. And now it seems like you, they perfected you, it here. Yeah, you you hardly notice it. Yeah, it's it's really fucking good. Um, all right, so I think Gizmo's left. So Gizmo, what do you have to say about this episode? Yeah, it's time for a death bell. Um, this is another one of these episodes where I literally know jack shit about either or one of the franchises, but I still enjoy it anyway. Even if I did have extensive knowledge on either or both of these, I think I would have liked it even more consi considering there are a lot of characters out there that need some love at death battle wise and people and make people curious death battle wise. This, I think, can satiate both sides of the pond, both the people who know or don't know about either or. Either or this is interesting too because it, they, this one leaned more on the scientific side as opposed to a lot of the other ones where it was like theories and like refer references and wikis and stuff like that this one was actually interesting when uh, they went to the scientific side on uh misaka's side too you're right it didn't just come down to it didn't just come down to uh to physical stats it came down to um their power stats and I very yeah. much appreciate that because the yeah, last yeah. fight it came down to it was literally the theme of power to why uh, the victor won. But here it's like okay, no, it was the amount of output in terms of their stats and yeah. what they can do. So I like that. I love it when we go more scientific with the explanation. Oh, also, absolutely. Also, something to bring up: I they actually did a better job with their. Uh, with the with the the, the stages because we, oh, we're so, we're so used to seeing like absolutely. that one city in the middle of the desert the desert or just that one no, city yeah this the was, backgrounds th this the back pop like this uh, this is probably my favorite background they've ever used for a sprite fight yeah, it's better I agree. It, it's it's much better than Ant Man versus Adam, where it was just taking place in an in an office and then in different uh, pocket dimensions. Here, it's like the city is bright, it's vibrant. Um, there's there's a lot of detail in the background, and the and sprites there's also just the, blend. There's, oh, wow. there's also the interactivity, like when the building splits apart. The effect is fucking great. Oh yeah, yeah, especially <laughs> when when Misaka goes kaiju. Yeah, it's like so holy shit! That shot of her just splitting that building, and the little things too, like when uh, Killua starts using the yo-yos, like something out of, of like Ness from Smash Brothers, or when Misaka started using a piece of concrete as if she were static shock or some shit. Yeah, I will say, um, I before we wrap this up and talk about next time, uh, for my own tier list, I would put it like. Uh, it's season 10 in general, in my season 10 tier list, I would put it above Ant-Man versus uh, Adam, and right below Chosen Undead versus Dragonborn. Honestly, okay. that was a tough fucking call, because both those ep both those episodes at the top are top fucking tier. They're, they're amazing. And this episode definitely I would work. personally put this above Undead v. Dragonborn, but that's because I probably Honestly, like, like, I'd have uh, to agree. Yeah, like, agree this one, you. this looks better. Really? Yeah, yeah. You prefer you prefer. All right, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to think about where I should rank this because I I'm thinking of putting it on my overall tier list above Captain Falcon versus Johnny Cage, but below Obi Wan versus Kenshi. But I don't know. I think I'm definitely gonna I, have to sit on it. I think because like because okay, like so. Can I can I say something? I do say yeah. I do like because. I've already made a bold statement since I wasn't here for the Skyrim versus Dark Souls. I yeah. did make the bold statement that that is in my top three favorite episodes of this season. And I have to say that I think Killua versus uh, uh, Misaka, I think that maybe when I watch it again tomorrow and I, and I start getting into a magical certain index, I think this episode could potentially be in my top five favorite episodes of this season. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see it getting into the top ten or of my favorite episodes of all time. Uh, but I can definitely see it being a good highlight episode, like of this season. 
just in terms of, okay, what it was able to do stat-wise, animation-wise, and it is probably the best anime on anime fight we've had in a while. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that is a good point, considering a lot of the... No, it's actually... Because what was the last it's actually anime nice, on it's anime? It's actually nice to see an anime on anime on anime. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, because it's been a while Question, since we had a full-on anime I'm on, on anime. The list now. I'm, I'm, I'm looking on the list now. Um, let me see. Okay, the last one we... Well, no, the last uh, the last one uh, was dry, uh, Gogeta versus uh, Vegeta, but that doesn't count. That's the same series yeah, one. In the universe. Um, I'm looking... Okay, the last one we had was actually Tanjiro versus Jonathan. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That was a good one, too. Oh, wait, no. We also had Deku versus Asta. Sorry. Oh. Deku oh. versus Asta was quite mid. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, this so, is much better than that. Okay, okay. looking back on my tiers, I'm gonna put it above Goku versus Superman, but under Obi-Wan versus Kenshi. You mean That's Kakashi? where I would put it. Kakashi, you mean Kakashi. Yeah. So, now we talk about... This next time... <laughs> Yeah, Stitch versus Rocket is such an interesting choice. That is okay. so... It makes sense I, if you yeah. think about it, though. Like, let's it really just the fact that yeah. Disney bought Marvel, all right? Like, okay, but both not all of that. Both of these two... Disney owed generic engineering projects. This isn't even the Disney like, on this both, both, both two... Both this isn't the first time. Hang on, hang on. This isn't even the first time there was King Mickey versus Yoda, where Yoda was fighting for the independence of the okay, wait, that doesn't count. Count. Technically, that doesn't count because Kingdom Hearts is not owned by Disney. Yes, um, it is. No, it's not. It's Square Enix. Yes, it's Mickey Mouse. No, that's no, 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 no. Both of you, shut up. I'm gonna correct the record here. Yes, Disney does own Kingdom Hearts. Square does not. That is but outright confirmed by Square's own CEO. Fine. They have their characters involved. It doesn't mean that they own it. No, yeah, they do. It's... They absolutely do. Even Square Enix and Namora have confirmed this. Disney okay. owns everything in, in Kingdom Hearts outside of Final Fantasy. They don't own any Final Fantasy Square stuff that appears in Kingdom Hearts. Well, okay, regardless of that, they're, they're, I do like the thematical reason for this matchup. Both of these two are genetic experiments that yeah. um, yeah. are um kind of that start off as loners but they do get a surrogate family and they become attached to them and they essentially have guns and a lot of wacky adventures akimbo yeah, yeah so I, I will say as someone who grew up with holy culture, shit i just this is the okay um if i'm correct this is the first ever disney movie character we've had in death battle yeah, I just actually thought I just realized that. Oh wait, wait, it is. It's, Holy shit, yeah, right? it is. We, yeah. this, we, we never have ever done this. Okay, um, I think this might be a death battle test in the water. See what they can get away with. In yeah, terms here's of what I'm a little worried about, though, because this is the first time that it, this is the first time using a yeah, Disney movie. Why not write just Disney character aside from Mickey Mouse? I'm a little worried about how they're going to handle the episode because I, you know how much we, I, you know how much I hate when something is censored or dialed down for it just so they can have a general yeah, audience. Totally, like, yeah, I'm not, afraid with. But what no, I'm no, worried no, yeah. about is that they're either going to make it too kid friendly, which Death Ballad is really is not, and, or they're going to make it too violent, which kind of feels out of place for something like this. Really? I'm I'm afraid that they're not that just like Poe versus Iron Fist, they're gonna have some out of character moments because it it, it does it, it because because it, it is I'm very picky about the character the characterization and I may not be a massive fan of Lilo and Stitch, but I do know that in the in the Lilo and Stitch series, Stitch does get better as a character. No. Uh, and so. I, that's what I'm afraid of. That the, that this episode is mostly just going to rely on the nostalgia for the first movie and not the sequel movie or the series or even the fucking anime. Well, and here's the thing, my, though. Let me, my, let, me, let me say this real quick. The, let me say this. Yeah, real what's quick. Up? I doubt that Death Battle will completely forget about the. Uh, <clears throat> will completely forget about uh, the whole. 
whole thing with uh you know there being a tv show and multiple movies yeah, and yeah. Okay, because they pull out the stops all the yeah. time no yeah let me, let me make, make, let me make my so argument worried. because here's the thing if you only look at the first movie i'm more worried about it, that they're going to ignore it, the sequels because it, no, no, they, they no, 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 information no, no, about no, stitch that's important. no 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 let me finish let me finish let me finish if they only look at the first movie stitch is fucked he is f-u-c-k-e-d fucked they need to look no. at everything no, uh, no, no, no. Here, uh, when I said that, okay, look, I'm not saying they're going to forget about the other stuff. Obviously, no, they're not. They, they are it. not. What I'm saying is very much like the first, like with Poe versus Iron Fist, they relied more on the on the nostalgia for the first movie because that's pretty much everyone's favorite entry of that trilogy. It's the same thing here. Where yes, they're going to include the series, the sequels, and potentially the anime and the comics. But for just like the overall tone, it's going to be leaning into the first movie and its nostalgia. Maybe it's the same but way I, I didn't know, really like I don't the, think that's gonna um, happen Ben because, from, look, uh, uh, ben from I primarily as his ten year old stuff. I don't think that's gonna happen though, because uh, because when Lean stitch was out it was still popular even after the movies came out because keep in mind they had video games too and they also in the tv show they did more with stitch in terms of family members because they also gave him more powers more weapons they also gave yeah. him more family members if they're if they're even going to incorporate that because the heels i guess you could say they're part of his arsenal because they're technically weapons his um his cousins they might yeah, introduce that cousins. in for all, for all we know I'm just worried that the animation is going to rely more on the characterization of how Stitch was portrayed in the first movie instead of incorporating his overall growth hmm. in the future sequels and series and games and what have you, because they've done that before. They did it with Poe. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but Poe was practically the same character from the first movie. Like, even that ending when he freaks out that he killed somebody, like, that felt very out of character. That's what I'm worried about here. I'm not too particularly worried because the writing since that episode has greatly improved very drastically. I mean, you who knows? Maybe this will that, be the... uh, But again, it's possible. Again, just depending on who's writing it, I think it is possible because, again, Death Battle are not fans of everything. They're fans of right. certain things like we all are. So right. we can't just assume that they're massive fans of of the whole franchise of Lilo and Stitch. I think sure. they would most likely know of the first movie, but they probably never got into the other stuff, you know, because that we, we all grew up with Lilo and Stitch, but it's like most people know the first movie. They didn't like, there were people like us who did watch. Maybe the that's why their like, research team is so, is so big. Maybe that's why they have a yeah. research team because they all have like different tastes and different knowledge of different kinds exactly, of things. Yeah, so that's, that's that's, just, that's my main concern. But overall, I'm excited for this because yeah, no, this is going to be our first. This is going to be our first Disney movie character against a Marvel character. So if this goes well, we could essentially get Maui from Moana versus Disney Hercules. Yeah, they're, def uh, they're definitely yeah, they're definitely testing the waters. I could definitely well, see the Hercules one though. They're definitely testing the water to see what they well, get no, away with. I could, well, here's the thing. Though, Maui doesn't have enough. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Because they're definitely testing the waters because they've said previously that they're more hesitant on using Disney stuff because of how protective Disney is. Like, for example, yeah. they've never, they never, they never did the Disney Princess Battle Royale because they were so fearful that Disney would sue them for it. Which sucks because that would have been awesome with Tori and animating it. Well, but, you know, but Disney, but Disney actually has rules against the how it Marvel did. Marvel is not okay. Marvel doesn't really give a shit because Marvel makes Disney has rules Disney, against how Disney. But Marvel is their own entity. Like they're a part of the same umbrella, but they're not. You know, if if what I'm making if what I'm saying is making sense. There's like it's different fractions of the same of, of the one thing, but Disney is very protective of their shit, like their character, their movie yeah. characters, their TV characters. So yeah. I can see why it took them this long. I think Stitch is the safest bet because the only thing that's going on with Stitch right now is he too is getting a live action movie remake. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, I knew that. Was yeah. Coming. So <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be. I don't think they're gonna be that. You know, standoffish. I just think okay, it is safe for them to do this. It's Here's a safe why, with Stitch. Here's why I think they went for for Stitch specifically instead of like let's say a Disney princess or anyone else because unlike say Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Or even say Princess and the Frog. Uh, Stitch is actually okay. He's a fa- he's in a family friendly movie because you know what Disney movie isn't. But he's less of a family movie uh, character because you know think about it like this. We are he's a sci fi character. Yeah, yeah, he's a sci fi character. He's still Disney. But here's what I'm saying: we got characters that he's come from fantasy. We come from make believe. This is from outright a uh, sci fi setting that is in your that pretty much feels like something out of Star Wars. Uh, which ironically yeah, it, is also owned by Disney. But what I'm saying is, this is outright more removed from Disney than the usual outings because it's more the oddball. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's yeah. it's a sci-fi it's a sci-fi genre that occupies a family-friendly setting. It's more gruesome too because they're already using <laughs> yeah. guns. They're punching each other. And like they're not trying to stray away from like realistic, realistic violence. Stitch is fallen into obscurity because the last thing he had was his anime and that's about it. So I don't again yes. I think starting with Stitch is the safest bet because Disney isn't gonna be so gun ho about it. Um right. but I am curious to see if this is successful, will they finally feel confident to where maybe they can use other Disney characters? I do feel um, like that. I yeah. feel like they will yeah. afterwards, but the thing is, they have to really be choosy because not yeah. all the Disney characters have as much lore as, say, like Stitch or Disney's Hercules. Because Stitch and Dis- Stitch and Hercules have a lot of lore behind them. Because not only do they have a lot of comic books, they have games, they have TV shows. Oh, no. They can't just if if this is successful, go to Maui and say, "Yeah, let's have Maui fight someone." Because he only has the one movie. He only has the one movie. Yeah. What else is there? A TV show? Yeah, no. no. A game? No. Exactly. No. Well, there's the lore, but there's the lore. Yeah, yeah. The lore. there isn't lore. much compared to well, Stitch or I Hercules. Guess or that Disney, but... amount. I suppose we should probably think about not regular wrapping Hercules, this up Hercules. For the night. I'm talking like before we, before we do, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with Alex. Before we do, it's definitely depth out testing the waters of what they can get away with, what they can't, and if this goes well. We definitely will see more Disney stuff. Maybe we'll even see Mickey Mouse Please versus Dark Bunny. Darkwing Duck, please. Yes, that's Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. Duck. Darkwing Duck. Yeah. Darkwing Duck. Yeah. Okay, we should wrap this up. So uh thank you guys for joining. We'll do this again in two weeks. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Dude, that was perfect. Yep. Oh my god, damn it. Uh-